Hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm alright, thank you. How are you? Good, good, thanks. Just another day at the office? Oh yeah, well, it's a dress-up day. I normally get to work in my, uh, my PJs. <laughs> who, 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 could, who couldn't be jealous of that? Describe Canada in three words. In three words? Um, humble, beautiful, and uh, home. Describe yourself in three words. <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess uh, easygoing, um, composed, and uh, I like to think I'm funny. <laughs> and now the big reveal, Chris Cyborg in three words. She seems like a sweetheart, um, very athletic, and um, a legend, for sure. I, I know that you probably don't want to look into other people's personal business, but what do you make of this stuff going on with her and Dana White and the UFC in general, that sort of topsy-turvy relationship? Yeah, I think I think both sides are, you know, trying to put out their, their you know, their side and, you know, making themselves look, you know, like the better one out of the out of the two, but I don't really look look too far into it. Like I understand, kind of on an outside perspective, like okay, I kind of get what's going on. You know, she wants to, she wants to get taken care of, and um, I I can't imagine that she'd be like afraid of fighting Amanda. Uh, but I can I can see maybe there being like contractual things that are going on that would make her say no. So I have no idea. And honestly, uh, like I said, I'm kind of just focused on the task at hand and they'll deal with that after our, after our fight. Don't you think it's a bit weird when people say fighters are scared to fight someone else? Because you get into a cage and punch each other in the head. It seems a bit redundant to say that. Yeah, I would, I would say, you know, it's kind of a crazy thing to to say to a fighter that's getting, you know, out here and fighting. It's just kind of weird. And, and ironically enough, you're about to step in the cage with a woman. People say everyone should be terrified to fight, right? I mean, she's just lost to Amanda, but before that she was this incredible force. And all week you seemed happy to get in the cage and do something about it. Absolutely. You know, I, definitely people, uh, I don't know, people have, you know, said different things or, you know, read different things. It's, to me, it's kind of crazy that someone that you can have that kind of fear for a human being that's standing in front of you with no weapons besides their, uh, you know, besides their body. And I'm trained just like she is to, uh, what's that for? Getting a, getting a water oh, switch here. That was mine. Oh, that was my water. But those are Okay, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're fine. No, I'm, this was my water. Science at work. Sorry. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. People, fi people scared of fighting oh, each other. Yeah, yeah. It, to me, it's like, you know, why... Uh, why someone would, would even think that I'd be, anyone would be scared of another person like that. Like, I just don't have that mentality, you know. Um, I guess some people live in fear of things that I can't relate, but I, I, I don't live in fear with, of, of many things at all. You know, I have a healthy respect for, you know, possible dangers in life in general, you know, but I definitely am not one that just kind of, like, cowers in fear of things. And for, I mean, why would I not be excited to, face, you know, to, to be able to stand in front of a legend? So for me, it's all, it's all positive energy. With that being said, do you think maybe Jermaine Durand me was a little bit and nervous of that fight? Um, yeah, that's a that's a hard one to say. Um, it's possible, but I would never say you know I would never say that she was scared or anything. Um, maybe uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe she didn't want to get taken care of in a certain way or. Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to get yeah, you to shits there. I was just no, curious. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely have all you know, all respect for for everyone in in the UFC and everything. So um, for me, it's like it's one of those things where I'm, I know if it's not like something I'm I'm into, I don't like to have like a strong opinion about it because I don't really know. You know. You're in an interesting position right now because if you beat Cyborg, you've beaten one of these crazy destroyers, and then you'll probably have to fight another crazy destroyer in Amanda Nunes. For anyone else, I'd imagine that would feel like oh, this is a heavy workload, but for you, I get the sense that if you do that and you fight Amanda, you'll be even more excited. I feel like that will be the case. I'll be excited. You know, I beat Megan Anderson, and then everyone's like, oh, your reward for beating Megan Anderson is fighting Chris Cyborg. Oh, great. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Why wouldn't I be excited? And now if I beat Cyborg, I get to fight Amanda. You know, it's kind of the same same idea for me. So uh, I would get to fight for a UFC title. That's a dream come true, you know, and, and the sooner the better. I'm asking everyone this today. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Uriah Faber said to ESPN that Yasada had visited him at the hospital while his wife was in labor to get a sample. And I, I know. And I was wondering, what's the most inconvenient time you've been visited by Yasada? Uh, well, they came two days ago, or on 
Tuesday night, I think. No, Wednesday night. Either way, they were here. Um, but the most inconvenient, it was when I was, I woke up, you know, just kind of in the early morning stages before getting up for work. And I went to the restroom and literally, as I'm flushing the toilet, they knocked on my door. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I gotta have you hang out with me. I, but luckily, the, uh, the girl that, that comes regularly, um, you know, she's, she's come a few times already, so we know each other. She just kind of sat there and hung out while I drank water. It's a weird friendship to make. Uh, I was starting, you know, I just started drinking water and started working a little early. So made for a more productive morning, you know, getting my uh, getting on the computer a little early and just chugging water. Thank you very much. Yeah.